The Environment Institute at the University of Adelaide brings together research groups in fields of science, engineering and economics relating to the management and use of natural resources and infrastructure. Research undertaken within the institute aims to contribute to improvements in the management of natural resources including water, soil, land and native flora and fauna, particularly under changing climate and economic conditions. It was launched on the eve of World Environment Day, Thursday the 4th of June 2009. The mission of the Environment Institute is to develop practical solutions to difficult problems by bringing together the best people from science, government and the wider community. As of 2014, the institute consists of 5 centers, a laboratory and 2 programs. Topic Directorship The inaugural executive director of the Environment Institute was economist Mike Young. He was succeeded by Professor Robert Bob Hill in 2013. Topic Notable scientists Professor Barry Brook was the inaugural Sir Hubert Wilkins Chair of Climate Change at the University of Adelaide. He co-directed the Global Ecology Laboratory with Professor Corey Bradshaw who succeeded him as Sir Hubert Wilkins Chair of Climate Change. Professor Bronwyn Galanders is the Director of the Marine Biology Programme and Director of the Spencer Gulf Research and Development Initiative. Topic research centres, laboratories and programmes The Australian Centre for Ancient DNA ACAD undertakes research on the evolution and environmental change across time through the use of preserved genetic records from human, animal, plant and sedimentary remains. The Australian Centre for Evolutionary Biology and Biodiversity investigates the systematics of Australia's flora and fauna. The Centre for Energy Technology develops technologies to reduce greenhouse gas and pollutant emissions from existing energy systems while refining alternative energy sources to reduce the effects of climate change. The Sprig Geobiology Centre seeks to understand how organisms both alter and evolve in response to the environment and how they control geologic processes. The Water Research Center investigates the use of water across three broad themes namely, climate change, process management and human health. The Global Ecology Laboratory undertakes multidisciplinary research to mitigate carbon emissions and develop adaptive strategies to respond to the anticipated impacts of climate change. The Landscape Futures program investigates how we can sustainably create vibrant and viable landscapes into the future through sound environmental management and monitoring. The Marine Biology program investigates the role of aquatic flora and fauna in the connectivity and ecology of rivers, estuaries, gulfs and open coasts. Topic: <laughs> Governance The Environment Institute is governed by a board. As of 2014, its membership includes, Carl Binning, BHP Billiton Mike Brooks, University of Adelaide Pauline Gregg, Talstra Allen Holmes, Department of Environment, Water and Natural Resources, Government of South Australia Steve Morton Chair see Syroformer board members include, Peter Dowd, University of Adelaide Paul Duldig, University of Adelaide Robert Bob Hill, University of Adelaide. Topic. Associated organizations The University of Adelaide has established a number of research institutes including Robinson Institute in Reproductive Health Institute for Mineral and Energy Resources Institute for Photonics and Advanced Sensing Topic. Selected publications Shifting Trends – Detecting environmentally mediated regulation in long-lived marine vertebrates using time series data McMahon, C. R., M. N. Bester, M. A. Hindle, B. W. Brook, and C. J. A. Bradshaw. 2009 
Shifting trends, detecting environmentally mediated regulation in long-lived marine vertebrates using time series data. Oecology 159 to 69-82. 10.1007 per second 0442-008-1205-9 Hidden support from unpromising data sets strongly unites snakes with anguimorph lizards, Lee, MSY 2009. Hidden support from unpromising data sets strongly unites snakes with anguimorph lizards. Journal of Evolutionary Biology 22 1308-1316 Climate change enhances the potential impact of infectious disease and harvest on tropical waterfowl trail, L.W., C.J. Bradshaw, H.E. Field, and B. Brook, 2009. Climate change enhances the potential impact of infectious disease and harvest on tropical waterfowl. Biotropica. 10.1111, J.1744-7429.2 X Predicting the timing and magnitude of tropical mosquito population peaks for maximizing control efficiency Yang, G., B. W. Brook, and C. J. A. Bradshaw, 2009 Predicting the timing and magnitude of tropical mosquito population peaks for maximizing control efficiency. PLOS Neglected Tropical Diseases 3, E385. 10.1371 slash journal.pntd.0003853 A meta-analysis of the impact of anthropogenic forest disturbance on Southeast Asia's Biotisodi, NS, TM Lee, LP Co., and B. W. Brook, 2009. A meta-analysis of the impact of anthropogenic forest disturbance on Southeast Asia's biotas. Biotropica 41 109. 10.1111, J.1744-7429.2008.0046O, X. Predicting reproductive success of insect versus bird pollinated scattered trees in agricultural landscapes R12, KM, SC Donnellan, AJ Lowe, and DC Patton, 2009. Predicting reproductive success of insect versus bird pollinated scattered trees in agricultural landscapes. Biological Conservation 142-888-898.1 jbiocon2008.12.019 Dynamics of range margins for metapopulations under climate change Anderson, BJ, H. R. Akkakaya, M. B. Arayo, D. A. Fordham, E. Martinez Mayer, W. Thula, and B. W. Brook. 2009. Dynamics of range margins for metapopulations under climate change. Proceedings of the Royal Society of London. Series B, Biological Sciences 276-1415-1420. to 10.1098, RSPB.2008.1681. Global Warming Tugs at Trophic Interactions Brick, BW 2009. Global Warming Tugs at Trophic Interactions. Journal of Animal Ecology 78 1 3. 10.1111, J.1365 to 2656.2008.01490, X. Tropical Turmoil, a Biodiversity Tragedy in Progress. Bradshaw, CJA, NS Soddy, and B.W. Brook, 2009. Tropical Turmoil, A Biodiversity Tragedy in Progress. Frontiers in Ecology and the Environment 7-79-87. 10.1890-070193 Flooding Policymakers with Evidence to Save Forests Bradshaw, CJA, B.W. Brook, KSHPEH, and N.S. Soddy. 2009. Flooding Policymakers with Evidence to Save Forests. Ambio 38-125-126. 10. 1579. External links 
Environment Institute